one player who has set Tata Steel Challengers 2022 on fire is Arjun Erigesi. Look at the standings after round six. He's on five and a half out of six. The next place is on four points and he has a one and a half point lead over the field. Arjun has also crossed 2650 on the live rating list, has entered top 100 in the world and is clearly showing his class here. In the sixth round, Arjun was up against the very strong Indian GM Surya Ganguly. And it was a game that we were all looking forward to because, you know, Surya is very well prepared, has great understanding of chess. So we were all like, how will this pan out? Arjun, with white pieces, opens the game with 1e4. Surya responds with e5, knight f3, knight c6. We have the Italian on the board and Arjun plays c3. Knight f6 and in this position, we are seeing that at the top level, everyone goes for d3 followed by a positional game. But there is another approach and I would highly recommend you to look into this because it leads to sharp positions that are tactical as well as positional in nature. So d4. Now when black takes, now taking cd4 has been well established that this is good for black after check bishop d2. I take, knight takes and then d5. This is well proven. Black is doing well in these positions. So what you do here is that after he takes on d4, you push your pawn to e5. Now if the knight moves, then that's not going to be great news. Let's say for example, you go knight g4. I can already play cd4 in this position. And now white is doing pretty well here. So the better move here is d5. And the clear point is that if you take my knight and I take your bishop, black is better. Even if you, you know, like take here, I go rook g8. This is just black is doing very well in such a position. So you go bishop b5. Black now moves his knight. You take. And if bishop b4 check here, which is the second main move in the position, then bishop d2 or even knight bd2 is possible leading to interesting positions but bishop b6 is the main move so you keep pressure here on the d4 point knight to c3 black castles and white plays bishop e3 here the main move in this position is bishop g4 <coughs> and it's very logical because you want to put pressure on d4 and you're pinning this knight there are many top level games. In fact, Magnus Carlsen has played this many times with the black pieces. And with white, we have players like Karuana, Nepo, Giri, Aronian, who plays it a lot, Wesley So, Anand. It's one of the main lines. But Surya went for f6. So this is not the main move in the position, but I'm sure that Ganguly was well prepared, although he took five minutes for this move. Arjun now. The best move here, I think, is quid b3. But Arjun took his time and took on f6. Knight takes c3. B takes c3. Queen f6. And castles. Here, black played bishop g4. And Arjun came back bishop e2. When you look at this position, I think black has a fine, fine position out of the opening. You can play uh, rook a8. And I think it's black is doing very well, but I don't know why, but Surya took on f3. And maybe his point was that after bishop f3, rook a d8, which he played, by the way, knight t7 was also possible with the idea of c6, but he his plan was clear. He wanted the knight to go from a5 to c4. Bishop e2, I allowed this move. Uh, and the point of this move is that the bishop on f3 was not doing much so you want to reroute it to d3 where it will be actively positioned knight a5 and now arjun plays another nice move a4 so that if you play here i can take take and a5 which is almost trapping the bishop bishop c5 maybe queen e2 <coughs> and white is better because bishop is hanging c4 is hanging so c6 making space for the bishop to go back and now bishop d3. I think at this point Surya should have seriously considered playing knight c4 and black has okay I mean pretty decent position bishop c1 
uh, bishop a5, queen b3, queen f7. Black, white is slightly better, but black is fine. But even bishop c7, queen g4, rook a e8, rook a e1, and now came bishop d8. Here, perhaps h6 stopping bishop g5 could have been better, but played bishop d8 and now g3. And uh, well, knight c4 now was necessary or queen f7 preparing knight c4. Queen f3 was a very uh, careless move. So white to play here. Try, try to pause the video and figure out what should white do. So if you take, take and king g2, I think white is slightly better and doing pretty well. But queen h3 was very classy. Now I'm threatening this pawn. So you play g6. And now again, a fantastic move. Try to pause your video and figure out what you should do here with white. So this bishop wants to go to h6, correct? But after rook e1, rook e1, f2 is hanging. And this bishop on uh, d3 has done its job. So let's reroute it. Bishop e2 is the main move. If you found this, well done. Queen f6, if you go, then I go bishop h6 here and f4. And after that, bishop is coming to g4. Bishop g5 is threatened. And something like this is just over. You know, very strong attack. So queen f5, bg4. Queen f6, bishop f4. You can see that this knight suddenly is out of the game completely. These bishops are beautifully positioned. h5. Uh, the reason why a move like knight c4 would not work is because of bishop e6 check. King h If you go king g7 or h8, then there is uh, bishop e5. Here. Ah, sorry, knight is controlling e5. So here, maybe bishop h6 and uh, the rook is trapped. So he played h5, bishop d7, very good move, rook takes, rook takes, and now a move like g5 does not work because of check, and king h7, there is rook, queen takes h5, if king g7 or king h8, there is bishop e5. So king h7 was played, rook went to e6, and now black has two moves here, queen g7 and queen f7, if you play queen f5, rook e7 loses the queen. So you go queen, let's say if you go queen g7, here the powerful move, try to pause and fight. What should white do? Bishop e8. And uh, it's over because if you go bishop here, then bishop d6 is very strong. If you go here, then bishop e5. If you rook, rook back, then g4. And I'm just breaking through over here. So queen g7, bishop e8 is strong. So you go queen f7, but now rook d6. The point is bishop e6 and rook d7 is a threat. So queen e7, bishop e6, rook f4, rook d7. And here Arjun had won the queen and confidently went on to convert his advantage with g4, knight c4, takes, takes. f5, Surya sacrificed his exchange there, but to no avail. Now b7 is hanging and he resigned here. With this, Arjun Erigesi scored a very nice win over Surya Ganguly. And uh, it's very exciting to see how this boy will do in the remaining seven rounds. But already he's showing what a great player he is. And uh, hopefully he'll continue this run. This is Saga Shah signing off. Bye-bye.